There's no Link. We only have a Snake at the moment. Yeah. I feel that that's what he's actually accustomed to. It's kind of a meta game for him, right? Do I want to have those items in play? What can I do when those items are in play? The characters that allow me to do that allow me to focus on the play style that I want to have. And just right there, we can really see he has a setup here. Hold the grenade there, wait for Kick to force the recovery here, and then go after him with the Nikita. And now Quick showing some signs of respect here. He has the spacing that he wants to have between him and Salem. Yeah, but Quick sitting at 76 now after a couple of dash attacks. Salem has just been setting him up very early here. Game one, but now Quick trying to answer back. Oh, he wanted to come up with a backer himself, but unfortunately, and get it stuffed out by oh. Salem, and then Akita gonna seal it up. For Quick, it's how do I want to change up my recovery at this point, right? Because I can stall myself out using the bombs, but the problem is that I'm avoiding, I'm not really avoiding the Nikita. The Nikita slowly creeps up to me. I have to understand that. So for Quick, it's how fast can he tether? How fast can he get into this back to the stage before Snake pulls up the Nikita and before Salem can start looking for setups? Here's the forward throw here. He wants the stage control so it can start to get him with that neutral air when he gets back on the stage. Yeah, not quite going to land. Salem again setting up at the ledge, but a great up out of shield from Quick to get Salem off him. But honestly, really, the biggest challenge that Quick is facing in the neutral is that he wants to let that out, exactly, the charge beam. But because of the grenades, even if he lets out the charge, the grenade will just eat that immediately. Oh, sends out that really powerful blaster there and immediately misses that one. I like that he goes for the pummel. He's looking for percent at this point. Another pummel, nice. Forward throw, get off my stage. Give me what I want here. Of course, Salem gonna go up for the high recovery, toss that grenade, and it eats up the actual charge shot. Quick having some signs of trouble here, just trying to take out the stock, and Salem slowly creeping on him with the shield. He knows he wants to let go of the charge shot. He wants the stock like this. Yeah, Forto's still not enough, but finally that up B yet again gonna come out of shield and finally seal up this stock. But while wow, the charge beam, quick 29. Straight to the back, Salem again setting up the grenades. Neutral air ends up hitting him, but oh, it looks like there was a trade, and now Quick is on the better end of that exchange. The one thing that I did see, Snake, uh, I'm sorry, cool. He's reaching out there, man. He almost, he actually has a percent threshold to actually get rid of the Cypher there on that one. A couple of up smashes, Quick showing no fear. And I, and I like it too, he shows no fear, he respects them, right? I see the fact that those grenades are there. You want me to roll get up, you want me to neutral get up, you're looking for a grab. You want that up tilt, the forward tilt, the Nikita setup, the up smash. I see everything. Quick goes in for the dash attack, unfortunately only grabbing the grenade. I mean, that's definitely what you need to do when you play against a, a zoner set up character. You have mm -hmm. to wait and see what opening that they do give you. Yes, they cover, you know, most of the options, but there's usually a way out. Yeah. I like that quick able to land both hits of neutral air, immediately crossing up the shield, gets to the other side. The one thing for quick at this opportunity here is he wanted to go for that charge shot, but Salem immediately back to his zone. I like the fact, went for the high recovery this time, doesn't want to go for a tether. Uh, Nikita one more time, gonna drop down onto quick and losing the stock. Oh man, he not only drops on, but he drops onto that Nikita bomb. Sorry, the missile. Salem just gonna go high one more time, back to that ledge with the F tilt, gonna seal it up. Great call out there from quick. I like it. Stalls is sent back onto the stage. Yeah, really trying to delay his landing, mixing it up with the morph ball. But unfortunately, you can't escape everything. The ups, those up smashes are going to be online. There's so many explosions on the part of Snake. Trying to call Salem, dropping down from that platform. Not quite going to get it, but Salem again, tossing up their grenades. Quick, just stuck here at the ledge. I don't like it. He had to commit to some kind of option to stop Salem from coming in with the dash attack, possibly coming in with grab. I like that the low profile. Well, thank you, Salem. <laughs> yeah, using that low profile to all its advantage, just trying to get over quick, quick, not too far behind. Finally gets the stage for himself, but the return from the Napalm is going to send him back out. And that graph going to whip, but regardless, he's going to go ahead and get that jab. And because of that grenade coming out, quick end up grabbing it. He had to stop yeah. really his his offense. Just because since he grabbed it, he's like, crap, I don't want this to hit me. I'm sitting at over 100%. Yeah. And if I hold the grenade and I don't throw it, and if I shield it, I'm taking a lot of pressure. Oh, man, he went extra low, and you went too far to try to make a comeback either way. Salem with the master plan. Yeah, yeah, nowhere to hide, nowhere to go. Quick, going to be dropping that game. Salem, yep, taking it. Uh, it's interesting to see where we would want to go in terms of counter pick. Yeah, I would think Battlefield or so, so, something that's pretty small in a stage would be really good for hey, Quick. Yo, man, that's, just that's, to have that close quarters. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. Quick with the top player privilege. He actually just had water delivered to him. 
Yeah, I, I you wish somebody stay hydrated. Would, yeah, man, I wish somebody would deliver water to me. I, I'm not here on the mic. Well, you we know can what? Do it's that. all good. We Just find that. someone. We got yeah, it. Ho hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, man. Hopefully, I'm like quick, man. I get water delivered to me. Enough. Yeah, you gotta stay hydrated, but that's important that your mindset, right? You lost that game. Go ahead and regather yourself. Quick wasn't too far behind. As a matter of fact, he was doing a pretty excellent job coming in with the cross-ups, the neutral airs that he was getting on Salem. Not only that, he was showing that he had no fear to catch Salem when he wanted to go for the high recovery. And we even saw Salem understand that. Okay, I'm not gonna go for the high recovery anymore. I'm gonna have to focus on getting quick out and instead of trying to recover myself. Yeah, well in that situation, he was just barely off the mark from hitting Salem himself. He ended up catching the Cypher. But if he connected yeah. into Salem, that was gonna take away the stock and even up sooner. But because he was off the mark, Salem was able to extend his lead. But look at this right away. It's a complete 180, quick out to a very early lead. Yeah, all right. That's the one thing that I'm enjoying to see from Quick, right? He likes to stall his recovery onto the stage, and he forces Salem to pick that option that he might be going for a setup. He wants to fake out his setups. That's what he wants, right? And that's kind of showing up. If I fake out your setups, I get a whiff punish. Oh, that missile is just creeping right now. Quick keeping <laughs> up this pressure, but the oh. charge beam is going to get clipped out by that grenade one more time. Salem picking it up, tossing out the grenade. Stash attack going to get grabbed up and punished immediately. There's the back air and immediately set to the fact that Salem had to let go of the Cypher at that point, right? He's ready for the back air. The one thing that I also understand that Quick is really keen to do for is just punish Salem when he comes back for the landing from the, from the Cypher. Okay, that was, that was a little tricky right there coming out from Salem. He ended up using the startup of the Cypher to go up for a possible getup attack or even just some type of aerial that was coming at him. Try to go ahead and punish it. Not quite going to be the mark, but that's something we're going to have to look forward to throughout this set now. All right, Quick with the space here. Find it. Comes in with dash attack, tries to get out the forward area. Immediately, Salem not going to find himself around that area. Got to be careful with the C4 there. A little bit of a war of attrition at this point, and I do see that Quick is just understanding. If I have a charge shot, I can do some hefty damage, but I also can trade with some of his projectiles. But unfortunately, you're in the wrong spot to be when you come back on the stage. Quick has to be careful with each and every play Salem makes. Yeah, that C4 just plants it there on the platform, just not ready to get away from it. And again, even there to be used as a combo starter, a B out of shield, getting Salem off of him. But oh. will it be enough right now? Point blank, give me that grab. Where are you going? There's Salem with the setup and immediately quick able to use the actual bomb ball to actually stall his recovery yet again and get around Salem. I think Salem was trying to go for that shield break setup. Unfortunately, that second up smash not connecting as he wanted. I love that patience. Look at that. He un he waited there because he wanted to see if he was going to drop the grenade or the C4. It's a usual trait that snakes have when they try to come back on the stage. Good patience from him coming out from quick, and he immediately gets out there with the up B. C4 one more time. The up smash actually going to be catching him at the end there. Getting the air dodge lag. Wow, air dodging straight onto the platform. Able to wave land and getting the blast into Salem. Salem sitting at 175. One big hit will go ahead and take this stock. Missed the mark, man. Could have been a headshot at that point and immediately quick charging another one. He's looking for the opportunity. The stock is super important to take at this the opportunity backer. here. All right, tether grab. This time, not wasting time. He was a little too low. Back throw that. Off throw. Enough. Okay, okay. It's enough. Okay. It's enough. <laughs> I was a little worried there for a second. <laughs> All right, can he make it back to stage? Yeah, yes, he up B has plenty of hitboxes, able to interrupt the Nikita. So close, and the shield damage immediately on the Salem. He had to break out of that situation. Lands with the neutral air. Here's the dash attack, misses the mark there. Ooh. And aligns the fact that he turns it around. Okay, that, like that was, look, that was so slick from Quick. I don't know if you caught that, but he B reversed with the charge beam that jumped up with that forward air. All the plays from the corner here. Quick letting Salem know, even if I'm the corner, you have to fear me. Up B immediately gets the percent here. He has Quick off. I'm sorry, Quick has Salem on the ropes. Salem gonna go for the high recovery and he still has that C4. So Quick immediately knows my time to strike now. Forward tilt, Quick 16, back air, has him at 33 now. Runs behind him and oh. only gets that jab. Salem slowly but surely racking to this percent. That was a setup. He actually had the bomb ball out there in play and it would have got the set with a forward smash. Dash attack. The dash attack. Great stuff from Quick. Getting himself on the board. Just really adapting, showing off his patience, you know, telling Salem, I, I know what you want. I know you're trying to set up. I can set up too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, he he knows what Salem setups are, but the Salem know what quick setups are. Right? Samus is a character that some people, when they write the tier list, they only place her at a certain level between somewhere between mid and low. They don't see Samus at that high level, but quick is out here showing, showcasing 
what a what a good mindset and the will to prevail with your character can go with. Exactly. We have a lot of players who pick up characters that even if they're mid tier or low tier, they become a special that character well, and that goes so far. So Vance, that's the beauty of Ultimate right now. It's still yeah. a brand new game. Every character, whether they're low tier, mid tier, whatever, we don't know if that's going to be the case in like oh, yeah. three months, two weeks. Like this there might month. just be some random tech yeah. where you know Sam is just going to shoot up the tier list. The B reverse at the ledge. We saw Quick pull that out. Not only that, this month, man, we got the next patch coming out. Joker as well. A lot of things that can happen in 3.0. But let's go ahead to see what things can happen here in this next game. The, board, the score here is 1-1 even. Yeah, running it straight back to PS2. Neither player thinks it is the stage. They just want to go right at it. Mono, we mono. So then again, tossing up the grenades, up smash, not going to net him anything. But again, Quick just displaying the patience, allowing everything to go around before he gets up. While that down zone having plenty of range, actually hitting Salem out of it, but he's not out of danger yet. Man, speaking of not being out of danger, he's literally just in the middle of danger. All the explosions here at the ledge, and Quick has not had a break. Salem knows if I let him come back on the stage, he has time to charge the charge shots, and he has time to find other setups around me. I don't want him back on the stage. The name of the game here is Keep Away, and how far can I keep him away? There's the setup, even removes the Nikita from his face, goes around the shield, that if he let go and felt that it was safe to attack, he had the Nikita still in play. Now Quick able to land that back air, crossing up Salem, and oh. he has him right back off stage. The dash attack sending him out again. So Those charge shots. Oh, we went for the wave land, trying to lead into the drop down there. Not quite going to get it. Salem able to just narrowly escape. Oh no, and I feel like at this point, right, Quick wanted to get as close as possible to the ledge so he can go for that upbeat, get all those multi-hits on the Nikita missile, and make the recovery. Yeah, he thought he could just jump straight over it. That was not the case, but point blank charge me straight to the face. Down tilt, I like it, checks the landing here, immediately goes for the full charger, and he gets a grab on the return. Quick, not too far behind you, even though Salem has took great pace at the beginning of the game. Drop bear, sending it back into the air. For Salem, this pressure is ridiculous. Whoa, Quick actually able to get away and oh. putting on some good shield pressure at the same time. Another up out of shield sees the fact that Snake went for the uh, Stairmaster. All right, Quick. Another up so Ooh, but the grenade not in play. Charge Beam actually able to hit Salem this time around. Quick, another forward air. And he Great has condition. Right back in the air. Great conditioning because he kept shooting up the charge shots right there across the stage and it caused Salem to go for a jump option. So he was right there ready for that forward and immediately called that out. Okay, both Salem. Both of them just trying to look for some type of defensive option, but they're, you know, honestly, they're both just very confident in their play. Neither of them are <laughs> showing any type of weakness. The one thing that I do like that Quick likes to do is he likes to check Salem's shield every single time. He does it with a safe poke from there. He even sacrifices the charge shot just to make sure, hey, are you ready for this one? Here's another attempt here at the charge shot. He definitely respects, hey, he's going to go up really high with the Nikita, wait for the landing, find the punish here. Those charge shots have been so close, missing their mark, but eventually they will find it. Yeah, as long as the grenade is in play, it makes it so difficult to try to land. Here we have Salem setting up the C4, not going to land the up tilt or that back air, but the back throw sending quick right back on stage to Nikita, sending in the opposite direction, still holding on. Forward air, that's going to fall out of that one. Second one around here, and he's able to keep Salem off the stage. Oh, wow. Oh, Catching you are. Salem immediately, the scoop up, and get this up throw. Quick now sitting at 166, oh. down throw into the up tilt. We're at an even game, Vance. Put him in a coffin, man, and hopefully Santa can go ahead and put him in a body bag, because that's what he's looking to do here. Quick, so far, staying extra close to him. He gets that dash attack. He has a setup with a charge shot, and I like the fact that he takes the time to have patience. He's looking to catch Salem on the landing. Miss gets the mark there with a charge shot. Closes it up with a Zare. All right, Salem oh. placing the grenade one more time. Here comes a couple of up smashes. Ooh, actually able to put up the shield on the very last one, using the invincibility on that get-up attack to get past the second one. Salem pulling out the grenades. That, okay, so it really depends on how big the charge shot yeah. is. Sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't. And it's also how big the charge shot is in general too yeah. as well, right? If it's just a regular non-charge shot, it'll go around the grenades because of the size. Oh, you get the opportunity to get away from Snake, but he misses an opportunity to actually just punish him. Missing the grab here. Oh, Salem needed that throw there. Wow, rolling away the grenade still going to catch it. Oh, I like that one because he immediately went for the bomb ball. 
just to see how Salem was going to react to it. Probably could have gotten a force match with that as a confirm as well. Sets up another bomb ball. I love those options because he keeps making sure that if Salem's going to come on that platform or go for an aerial approach, there's something to cover. He covers every option. I move my Rook to cover my Knight to get this checkmate. And I move ever so closer with this grab and I keep you off the stage. There's the shot oh. shot. He's pushing him farther here. Salem stuck here at the ledge while that Evto barely off the mark. Salem landing right behind Quick, able to just turn the tables. There, another Nikita placing it right in front of Quick, placing a grenade as well to cover the charge shot. Backer not going to land, but the Morpho ends up clipping him. I love it. Even moves away from the grenade here. Doesn't want to stay too close to it. To see. Oh, oh no! The smash is going to catch it. I think he was waiting for the Usmash to land to try to use the grab invincibility. Down throw? No, he ends up going for the forward throw instead. Okay. Oh, Ooh. that could have been a whip punish from Salem, but he immediately just got away from that situation entirely. Oh, oh, the 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 there it is! <laughs> With there the it ball. is! Yo, man, give him the Ganon down airs. Give him the Ganon down airs quick. <laughs> this man just stomped the whole yard. Wow. Fantastic stuff from Quick right there. Holy. I'm I'm telling you, man, he shot those charge shots every single time. They were just a headshot away, but they